College is a pretty downer place when you consider a couple of things. There are a lot of pretty repetitive essays to write, there are a lot of math lessons that sound like gibberish when it's being taught to you, everyone just wants to get drunk by the end of the week, professors could really care less about you, and the fraternity slash organization leaders keep coming at your face with creepy forced smiles, asking you to join their club. The cycle of each day feels like you're trying to stay put inside a washing machine but you just can't even if you try really hard. Allowing you and all other victims of the cycle to try and live through each day by consuming the simple pleasures. Netflix shows, alcohol, cigarettes, McDonald's, cold drinks in plastic cups that are full of color with sweet pearls at the bottom, and getting it on in a nearby cheap hotel, just to name a few examples. Just to get through college without completely losing their sanity, people will find simple things to do each day for four years that would just stimulate enough needed pleasure. Everyone's got a different refresher, and today I would like to talk about mine, which if you couldn't guess, is music, because why the hell would I write about anything else in this channel? Yesterday after finishing my hellish math class, which had a discussion that sounded like nothing but nonsense to me, I decided to just sit on a bench just outside the cafeteria because I was just pondering on about why I still had math when I chose to major in literature. I just pondered on on the usual questions that college students tend to ask. There are seemingly so many why questions about school that you could probably make a whole thick magazine out of it. Anyway, while I was pondering on and on and on, my refresher came to me. The music in the cafeteria radio started to play and I was just instantly better. The music in the cafeteria is manned by students in a school club wherein they pretty much have their own radio show and I think that's really cool. Considering I see being a radio host as a really cool job, especially if you were one in the 70s or the 80s wherein the music was just pure golden. So back to my story, the music in the cafeteria began to play and I was so so happy to hear my kind of music. Whoever was in charge of the radio that hour, I love you very much because three awesome songs served as my refresher in that moment. The first song that played was Going Away to College by Blink-182, which was an immediate banger for the moment that I noticed right away because I would probably recognize either Tom or Mike's voice from a mile away, or Travis's drumming. Considering people my age are mostly into artists like Taylor Swift and Blackpink, I was very surprised to hear Blink-182 on the radio, even though it was only me and a few others who actually sang along to it while it played. That was a pretty rockin' moment in a time wherein rock is pretty much dead to the youth community. The next song that came as my stimulant was a song by one of my favorite bands of all time, and this was the song Cherry Bomb by The Runaways. Now, Cherry Bomb is not really my favorite runaway song, but whenever I hear it playing, I just cannot help but sing along because it is a piece of art that is just made up of amazing talent from the general songwriting of Joe and Jet, the badass bass riff of Jackie Fox, the astonishing drumming of Sandy West, the rock and glamorous lead guitar work of Lita Ford, and the vocals of Cherry Curie that just rocks your world, is truly full of pure talent, and is just historical. Cherry Bomb is just a great rock song that will always capture you, capture you, allowing you to get lost in its music literally every time it plays. You don't only get lost because of one part of the music, you get lost because of all of it, making it a really great rockin' refresher. The last song that came to my rescue after that math class from hell was something that was very dear to my heart ever since my early high school days, and that song was Basket Case by Green Day. Even though I don't listen to them too much anymore, I will always have a special love for Green Day, for they are the one for they are one of the bands that saved my life in high school when days were just so down because of simple problems like school, love, and friends, and I even considered them to be one of my top favorite bands back then. The simple and fine punk rock of Billy, Trey, and Mike have been saving me for as long as I can remember. And I'm glad that even if I don't take time to listen to them too much anymore, I know that they're still here for me during my college days. In Toy Story, Woody and the other toys couldn't be there for Andy anymore when it was time for him to go to college. But for me, I'm lucky that Green Day and some other bands that I've spent high school just listening to are always there for me when I need them in my college days. 
Thank you, Green Day, for being a refresher for my days ever since 7th grade. After listening to those three songs while waiting for my next mundane class, I could simply say that I was refreshed, ready to face the day again. I certainly know that music, primarily rock music, is my refresher, and I'm sure that it's gonna be my refresher until the day I die. I told you about my college refresher, so go ahead and comment down in the comments section below what your college refresher is. Alright guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you cannot tell, I'm just trying to get through my college days, and I wouldn't I would I would say that I've really seen better days. That's why I need to release this stressful energy by drowning myself in the music of Green Day, The Runaways, and especially Blink-182 because I'd say that they are the best stimulant out of the three. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now because I still have other better things to do. And what I mean by that is that I have to deal with the hundreds of zombies that are trying to get into my house right now. I hope you are all having a good day and I hope that it gets better if you aren't. This is the Stonish saying, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road.